Hello, everyone. This is Illuminar. Welcome to my channel. I never expected myself to be making one of those gaming videos, but turns out I am. Today, I'm going to create a new global Arknights account. So Arknights, I would say, is one of my favorite games right now, uh, especially on mobile. Um, I've been I've played Omilji and Azure Lanes before, and to be honest, I never paid a dime on Azure Lane, um, which I really struggle a lot because of not paying, because the the rate of having, um, let me put it this way, it's just a lot of work to level up your your ships and level up your weapons and equipments. And then I start kind of quitting it and lost track of the development in the game. Uh, Omilji, it started off really hard to get SSRs. You know, I've been playing that game for almost half a year and I didn't have a single SSR. And then one day I got an SSR and it was Kaguya. Um, it was a support, support character. Um, yeah, so with those two, I paid a little bit to Omilji when I first got my non Kaguya SSR. I forgot which, it was a long time ago. And, um, I, I, and I, played, uh, uh, I paid them again when there was a charity event, uh, basically a fundraising event to help uh, rescuing, uh, rescuing dogs, I think, in, uh, in the community. So I chimed in and got myself really cute little item but that was it that was my experience with those gacha games or character rolling games until I ran into Arknights so when I started Arknights it wasn't early that I'm talking about the CN server um, it wasn't early at all people have been playing playing it for a while they all got their 6 star operators they were tell, they were telling memes that I couldn't relate at all and then I just decided to jump in. Um, and it was really, really a fun ride for a couple reasons. First, getting a 6 star operator isn't that hard. So today I'm going to demonstrate that there's a new starter event where you're guaranteed a 6 star operator in your first turn 10 rows. Um, and 6 star is the highest level you can get. So that is pretty nice. On the other hand, you don't need 6 star operators to pass all your levels or pass the events. Or I mean, by pass, I mean clear the events. Um, the game is more or less really balanced and you have really good operators in 4 stars, in 5 stars, or even your 1 stars have a reason to them. Yeah, 1 star. By the way, 1 stars are really hard to get, you, you will never roll them, uh, you only get them through the recruitment, uh, which we will show later, uh, maybe in one of the other videos. But anyway, the idea is, this game is really generous, oh, yeah, one more, one more reason to love this game is, the resource that it takes to roll, to roll for characters, you can earn it through a, a type of levels that you need to play. Uh, of course, it doesn't come easily, and you have an upper limit of how many you can get per week. But when was the last time you can you can do something like this? Like, definitely not. With Omilji, yeah, later on they start to have this kind of mechanism. With Azure Lane, yeah, you get a lot of you can make you can earn a lot of them, but the rate is so low that you almost never get them. <laughs> Personal experience. Maybe you have better, better luck than me. But for, but for Arknights, a game where you are guaranteed a six-star operator every fifty rows, I think. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I think so. Because for every row, not getting a six-star operator, they're going to bump your rate by two percent. So after fifty of them. You're definitely guaranteed to get 6 star operators. 
But even without that, okay, my personal experience of getting my last six star operator, her name was W. Uh, you might be surprised if you already started playing Arcanite because that was one of the bosses, one of the few first few bosses that you encounter in the campaign. Um, they transformed her into an operator uh, in the latest event. It took me 42 rows to get her. Um, so it wasn't not bad, you know. If you start saving for that, uh, I don't know the name yet because I haven't looked at it. Global global version. If you just accumulate that kind of resource, you will get there. You will you can easily pull off like 10, 10 rows or twenty rows, 30, 30 rows, no problem. So that's my goal with my this global account is not paying for anything. Yeah, I don't feel particularly guilty for not paying for anything for something that I really like because I've already paid my dues with my CN account. Um, and just to show you guys that, I'm going to log in and show you that. Show you that I have bought the packs from the official store and, you know, other things. But with this free account I'm going to make, that there's also another point, which is, which is to show it isn't that hard to play the, play the game um, without paying anything, and that just shows how generous the Arcanax team has made the game for us. Um, and thus, I actually encourage you guys to appreciate that and maybe pay something out of your pocket. Yay! Anyways, pulling up my scene account, just trying to show... Um, yeah, the emulator is a little slow. Oh. One word on that emulator. Uh, this is called Nat Natty's, a Chinese company, Natty's Mumu, based on, I guess, an open source Nemu, like N E M U, Nemu player, or a name, Nemu emulator. So they basically wrap around that. Uh, an open source emulator. And this is the emulator that's officially supported, uh, more or less, or officially endorsed by the Arcanite team on the CN server. So, if you need to play the game um, on your computer, not on your phone, because your phone is slow or anything, try this. I mean, it's it's in Chinese, but it really, really isn't that hard. Just press a few buttons, uh, install it, and then... Um, it will associate the APK files with your system by default. You can just double click on the Arcanize APK and download it. Sorry, I mean install it in your emulator and then you can play it. Um, it has a couple of good features that I never use, uh, such as this recording of your of your operations, meaning that it will record how you click things by whatever offset, time timing offset or location on the screen so that you can use a script to replay your actions. Maybe it's a script where you... Uh, it's a set of operations by you to grind uh, for cash, this cash here, um, or something else. I never use it. I know it, people can make really good use of it uh, after a while. Anyways, just to show you that I have 105 of this. Don't know how to put it, don't know how to pronounce it. I'll get better. Um, also just to show I've paid for the packs. Yeah, it's a little laggy, I understand. But anyways. Pay for the packs. I even pay for this man monthly subscription thing that gives. This is the best value, by the way. At least for the CN server. I don't know the price on the global server yet. This is the best value. Best value thing you can get. So I'll pay for the packs. I also bought the anniversary packs that they they released during our last event, the the event that celebrates the anniversary. But anyways, that shows I pay my dues. 
I don't feel guilty making a free account. Okay, so enough of me talking about it. Um, oh, why not show you guys what I have so far? So yeah, so with all the money I put in and the time I put in, I got some good collection of six stars. By the way, most key my record. This is the Elite 2. Ah! Okay, it's being slow on me. Yeah, this is her. And the W operator I was talking about. By the way, I really like the arts. I really like the arts. Look at that. So cool. Anyways. Mm, this game is so laggy. Oh. Yeah, this is one of the skins I bought. Koshiguma, that's gonna be Japanese translation for the Chinese thing. Right there. I don't know who it is who. I always have a I always have an impression that you know the game is translated from a Japanese script into Chinese. I just have that feeling, even though it's made by a Chinese studio. Those things happen, you know, with globalizations, maybe the content is made by a studio in this country and it's released somewhere else. Uh, still laggy. But anyways, you got the idea. I've been playing this game for a while now. Um, yeah, let's jump into the US, the global one. One reason one additional reason I started this is I realized I missed the summer event. I can't say I can't say enough that how that summer event sh surprised me. First of all, it's really well made. Uh, they put in additional operators. They have a really, really interesting story. Interesting story. Um, the plus they had. They have these three genres of music that you can choose from. You make a selection and that defines your BGM for the rest of uh, this event, as well as the, the furniture you can get after uh, after clearing all the stages. The, the songs are really well made, to be honest, for a game development company. Um, I realized I missed that. And then today I see they're starting this Code of Brawl event by the way, that's Mosima right there. And I say, okay, I cannot miss this one. I should must not miss this one. So yeah, without further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so first, let me launch the global version. And let me full screen that. Wow, that this really feels like you know one of those PC games. Or is it, oh, excuse me. I don't know. Sega or Bunga. Eh, anyways. Oh. So yeah. Um, I'm going to make this uh, make this account, but not without strings attached. My goal is actually to have one of these two characters, Silver Ash or Exile. Okay, I didn't know how to pronounce this name. That was not the literal translation of this. The Chinese name, the Chinese name is pronounced Neng Tian Shi, where Tian Shi means angel. Uh, there's no angel in this word, so you know it's not. It's not a literal translation. Um, I wasn't sure how to pronounce it. I had to look up the Japanese version because I know the Japanese version is probably going to be based on the pronunciation. And here is the verdict. Axia. Oh, Axia. Okay. Anyways, Axia or Sora Ash. That's my goal. But again, you don't have to. You don't have to do this. 
because like I said, you don't need the six star operators to pass the game. But for me, it's just something I want to try, you know, to test my luck against this. And let's see how that goes. Hey guys, I am back. So there were some technical difficulties with my Mac. Uh, namely, it doesn't have enough computing power to be running the screen recording and emulator at the same time. So I switched to my Windows machine. And surprisingly, I found that Natty's Moomoo has an international version. And that international version comes with Google Play Store. So for those of you who actually live outside of China, this is good news to you. You can log on to this emulator as if it was your phone or tablet. Anyways, now I think this finally works. Let's dive right in. So we're gonna start creating a guest account. The reason being guest account, it only creates some kind of a token locally. And with Android, you can clear local storage as whatever you want. So yeah. Oh, by the way, here I'm just rolling the keyboard because I'm. I always create a. I always create a unique username whenever I create the accounts. Ah, uh, skip stories. Yeah. Well, in order to not keep you guys waiting for too long, I'm just gonna speed this through um, as fast as I can. And this part is a basic tutorial. Basically, it's just teaching you how this tower defense game works. Um, you are sh you have a limited number of deploy points and each unit when you try to deploy them it comes with a cost and you can of course you can never exceed that cost uh, sorry you can never deploy someone whose cost is higher than the deploy points you have and you got to pick the direction Um, where this operator is facing. So for for instance, you are pointing Axia to the right because the enemies come from the right. And that should all just come natural if you play tower defense before. Um, pause button sometimes helps. Um, that speed indicator, uh, when you click on it, it's gonna change it. It's, it's gonna toggle between uh, speed one and like one time speed versus two times twice one times the speed versus twice the speed it's gonna toggle between those um, I'm gonna use that as well to speed up the progress so this part is teaching you about the different rows of the operators so for example um, Texas is a vanguard. With vanguard, uh, a primary reason that you use them is first of all, their cost is usually low. So they're probably the only ones you can deploy in a, at the start of the game. Plus, they usually, uh, they usually give you bonus deploy points one way or another. And that's just very helpful for you to develop your defense uh, for the later game. And yeah, here you are being told that when facing a heavy armor um, enemy, you are supposed to use casters who deals arts damage because arts damage ignore the armor. But they are. Mm, they are decreased by a certain percentage based on their arts resistance, the enemy's arts re resistance. Basically, that's it. Just speed through it. Oh, also, you need to use skills. For example, I'm gonna use, use it on Texas. Yep, that's it. Okay, skip, 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 skip. skip. Um, yeah, basically the story goes, you are rescued from a bunch of under the debris and you don't remember anything. That's why you need to be taught how to, you know, how to control everyone, how to deploy units and stuff like that. Here it's telling you how to roll units, but this is the single row. We're going to use 
the multi row, actually the ten row right next to it. Um, but this is not quite the time yet. We have to complete their tutorial before we are awarded um, the thing. Sorry, I did not look up the pronunciation yet. So skip story. So, so yeah, what I do when I know um, my operators are much better than enemies is it's a typical style called gate blocking. Um, by by that term, what we mean is we deploy the we deploy our operators right next to the gate where the enemies come in, just to like not not having to wait for the enemies like walk that distance towards our gate, um, because I know I can stop them before that. It just just another way to speed things up. Anyways, that was easy. Skip story. You're trying to escape. Of course, there was a reunion squads trying to trying to cause chaos everywhere. Um, here's the mission systems. In early games, in the earlier stage, like I am right now, uh, these these rewards from missions are very very fruitful. I because I would say. Tutorial missions, you're not supposed to change the change the uh, roster. This is just telling you how to um, deploy my decks, I think. Or healers. Uh, yeah, I think it's that one. Hi, Biscus. Mission accomplished. Ishi Minarai no Hi, Biscus. Minna Kara wa Hi, Biscus te yobarete masu. Okay, guys. Omo o zonbun tatakaeta no. Okay, now we're free. Uh, I'm going to collect a bunch of stuff. Free stuff. I try to roll my operators. So here's 600. Here's another 600. Um, through the mail, you have 3800. And that's enough for the turn rolls, I believe. So, yeah, let's do that right now. Okay, let's see who we got. So, you know, you can always open the bag, like, halfway. But just to tell what kind of color, just... Just to tell what kind of uh, what number of stars of operators you are getting based on the color. So for five stars it's gold, but for six stars it's it's kind of a glaring gold. It's like you see the shine, shining like rays coming out of the bag, and that means you have a six star. Otherwise, if you just go, that means that means a five star for you. Oh, by the way, scavenger. It's a very good unit. Um, she has high attack, but at the same time, she um, she generates she generates deploy point uh, deploy points uh, periodically, and she has two you know she can block two enemy units. Oh, here we go. Siege. Yeah, siege is not bad. By the way, this is one of the characters that doesn't have. 
a direct relation. Sorry, this is not a literal translation of the Chinese name because the Chinese name is Tui Jin Zhi Wang. Well, it's kind of like the King of Siege, something like that. Anyway, we didn't get Silver Ash or Axia, so let's start over. So what I'm gonna do is right click on it, click details, and if you use Android, this part is, should be familiar. You go to the storage and clear all data. And thankfully, uh, there's only 18 megabytes we need to download, not 300 megabytes. So here we go. Okay, I'm just gonna speed things up. Okay, now here we go again. So yeah, that, that glow, that fire, oh my god. Wow, it starts with Texas, oh my. That's good news. Wait, here's our Axia. What? This is my second row. This is only my second row. Oh my gosh. I don't know what to do now. I already, I already got what I came here for. Wow, look at that. Okay, performer is good. Korra is good. Korra has high attack for a uh, for defender. Um, Mad, uh, Matterhorn. Good. Deep color. I never, I never use her with my CN account, but I guess I might start using her with this one. Oh. Sure. There's a lot I want you to do, namely the whole game. Nice. Well, that was not as hard as, as I thought. Um. So, since we accomplished our goals so fast, maybe I just do a little bit more in this video. So how about we carry on and finish the prelude chapter. Yeah, let's do that. So yeah, in quick select, just select everyone. <laughs> um, they didn't tell you, but they actually limited the scope to be just healers. So that's why you only see a few of them. But I'll just put in everyone. Because with every game you win, um, you're gonna increase the trust. Uh, trust being an attribute of each operator. And trust is helpful, because if you increase the trust, you might gain additional buff on that operator. Maybe it's like increasing an attack or increasing one of he or his or her talents. And here goes the story. Anyways, trust is good. Um, you can develop trust by winning games, but that's kind of slow. Uh, you can gain trust by stationing your operators in the base for a day. Um, but not all of your operators can be stationed as often as you think. Um, we will we will see that in a bit because right now our base is not enabled for us. So basically, the story is, um, you know, the riots in uh, Chernobyl already break. It already makes the news, and the news is saying, oh, our of brave soldiers is gonna put them down in no time. But you know that's not the case because you only see reunion reunion members speeding up the the soldiers everywhere. 
Okay, so nothing special about this one. Uh, it's still very easy, so we're just gonna block the gate. Uh, trying to save every single second that we can. しばられるつもりはない。了解しました。分かったぞい。ぬるぬる。勝利を手にしたみんなの姿絵にしよう So here, they are going to show us how to use the recruit system. Um, so a lot of times you, you don't really expect to get um, high level operators through recruitment because the 5 stars and 6 stars are really hard to come by, especially 6 stars. You can see, if even if I tune up the the time the timer, it only shows us mo at most 5 stars. It doesn't show 6 stars. Uh, to get a 6 star, you actually need a special tag. Um, I don't know which one yet in English, but there is one. Uh, you, only, you can only get 6 star after after you select that one. So for me, the, the recruitment system is more for getting the those certificates. After um, after you accumulate those three stars and four stars, or you start getting repeated ones, uh, you get those certificates. And then later on, you can take those certificates, go to the store, and substitute them for other supplies. And that's what makes it more useful. Hiya, 
く逃げた方がいいですよ。みんな、狩りを始めましょう。指示はあるかの。指示に従います。ラテラーノ出身射撃担当のアドナキエルです銃を扱う資格はドクターの指示のおかげですね私が留守の間はくれぐれも身の安全にお気をつけください私がいる限り皆さんをひどい目には合わせませんバッタうんうん聞いてるよここにいたのねちょっとからかってあげようっと敵が来ます皆さん戦闘の準備をしてくださいわかったぞい狙って<笑>わかりました必要な人はいませんかエクシア、援護お薬ですえ獲物が見えるぞ、作戦開始じゃ切りつくドクター、皆さんが私のことを信じてくれてますからいたくもかゆくもない攻撃でしたね。勝利の決め手となったな。
はいドクター出発しますみんな仲良くできないのかなぁ戦ってる時は眠らないんだから狙ってーちょっとからかってあげようっと私がいる限り皆さんをひどい目には合わせませんここだよ黙っていろわかりました「ぬるぬる」何すればいいのアップルパイはい。ここにいたのねオラオラー黙っていろミッションアカンプリッシュ勝利を手にしたみんなの姿絵にしよう皆さん警戒してください。
隊長もしていますロドスの力になれるようチーム身の程を知らない高波が堅固な岩礁にぶつかって弾けたようですね。みんなが一緒なら大丈夫だよ待っている。縛られるつもりはないドクター皆さんが私のことを信じてくれてますからここにいたのね<音声>プリムと申します以前はラテラーの護衛隊に所属しておりました皆さん今回のお薬の効き目はどうでい,いえ入ってからまたお聞きしますさい。
なリラックスしてていいからねからかってあげようっと。縛られるつもりはない。薬の効き目はどうでい,いえ帰ってからまたお聞きしますおかえりドクター。配置につけ敵部隊補足作戦準備戦ってる時は眠らないんだから
じめまして大きいドクターさん術師のドリンで悪くないと思うよあの、私が留守の間はくれぐれも身の安全にお気をつけください。黙っていろ一気に片付けましょうか。ついてきてディオコーレント
聞いてるよディオコーレントバラれるつもりはないドクターあなたの考えはお見通しですよこの程度のスピードで私に勝てるとでもミッションアカンプリッシュ皆さん、今回のお薬の効き目はどうですい,いえ、帰ってからまたお聞きします。戦闘の準備をお願いします。術師としてドクター殿のため敵を一人残らず倒すことができましたロドスのみんなはやっぱり最高です
そういう感じ好きかも一緒なら大丈夫だよ。あいつら、もう二度と明日の太陽を見る機会はないかもね。
時は眠らないんだから狙ってーついてきて黙っていろ分かった失礼しました。しょうがなかったからなんとなくこれぐらい大したことないぜ他のやつらがヘマしなきゃそれでいいんだ。
お任せくださいみんな何か要望はの秘訣はよく寝ることだよ。サンキュー。
皆さんが無事であることが私にとって一番の励ましになりますおかえりドクター。くじ、配置につけみんな、一緒に遊ぼう。おバカさんたち、僕が相手だよ早く逃げた方がいいですよ指示に従いますたちにお任せくださいみんな狩りを始めましょう早く逃げた方がいいですよ準備完了。の指示のおかげですね
みんなうんリラックスしてていいからねー敵部隊補足作戦準備ここを死守します各自配置につけ他で何か間違えたのかな何をすればいい出発じゃ獲物が見えるぞ作戦開始じゃ死守します行動開始しますどうしてみんな仲良くできないのかな承知しておりますつもりはない了解ですアップルパイコイをディオボーレントディ
よボーレンド私が怖いですかミッション見習いのアンセルです外科のアシスタントを担当しますよろしくお願いいたします占いの結果が出たぞ完全勝利だそう、so... Yeah, we are at the point where we where they tell us about the supplies grinding stages. Okay, or they call it resource skirmishes. Um, right now, this you you can see it shows specially open. Um, it is because not all of them are open on the same day during the week. They're open right now because there's an event going on. Um, so when you start your, when you create your account, um, not it, they are not necessarily all open at the same time. 最前線に立つことが俺たち重装オペレーターの大事な役目。So they make me start with this one, but for me, the ones that I, well, other than for the sake of clearing those stages in order to get originism, sorry, originium. I still don't know how to pronounce it. Can someone please help me out? Anyways, other than for the sake of clearing those, because you get those first clear bonus, uh, what I find, I find myself end up doing is first of all, I would do a lot of those um, construction material ones because I really need to build up the base in order to produce more resources when I'm asleep. And those are free resources. Resources, okay. Um, the precious metal it generates, they don't cost you anything except for time. So the more factories and the more trading posts you have, the more you can produce when you're asleep. Um, well, after I, I upgrade my base to the maximum, I find myself doing a lot of, uh, the LMD ones as well as. Um, what's what is what is it called? The, sh the purchase certificate, I think, the red ones. Okay, because you need a purchase certificate. Um, in order to in order to get your uh in order to get to E two, you to like elite to promote your operators to elite two. Uh, and you you need LMD for basically anything. So, those three are what I find myself doing most of the time after clearing them. So, of course, I find myself doing it for real because last time it was, it was a practice test. And the reason I did it as a practice is because one of these pinboard missions. Yeah, clear them as soon as possible. Not only because you need those bonuses to, de to develop your operators, but also because even if you finish something on the future pin board, if it's not a pin board that's active, it pretends you never did them. For example, if it asks you to clear, you know, let's say a resource skirmish, and you did it, like like I'm doing right now, but if it's if that is a mission on a, on a pin board that's not currently active when I come to that when I come to that pin board it will still show clear ones uh, please clear one resource skirmish as if I've never done it but I, I have so in order to not waste time doing the things you've already done uh, try to clear as many pin boards as you can just so that you're always Doing things, you're you're always like going towards the mission, like going towards the missions in the pinboards.
Yeah, I have to say, um, this profile thing is really weird. Like anything I put, it becomes becomes an illegal character for some reason. Um, like this Hello World, it it certainly didn't work, and I I thought it was punctuations. Yeah, and this didn't work, so I thought it was punctuation, so I did it again, without the comma and the question mark. It's still unallowed characters, I'm like, what? I don't know, maybe they, they are they're banning the character H for, you know, for obvious reasons. But still, it doesn't make any sense, so... Yeah, let's try this one then. Still no. Let's try something else. Okay. Well, that simple word works. So, when you're a star. Try something simple, and just don't have any expectation of it. みんな、もう僕が相手だよ。倒れろ。なんでしょう、このやりにすべてを。ロックンロール。うん。聞いてるよ。うん。聞いてるよ。来い。
さですこの刃あなたのために震わせてください当然の勝利だずーっとアーチで後方援護を頑張ったんだよねいや、そう、なおでイネボーのベースファンクションズを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、ここを見つけたら、Also, ship reliability engineer. You know, there's a position, many other companies. Those are called site, reli reali sorry, site reliability engineers.、Um, so, yeah, when they say ship reliability engineer, it kind of, I don't know if it's a coincidence or they just happen to know that. It's pretty cool. So, let me tell you this clear up as much as possible because it gives you the UAVs. And those UAVs accumulate over time. And those UAVs can help you speed up stuff in the base operations. And like speed up the trading post. And you can. I usually just. I usually find myself speeding up the trading post because that's always lagging from the rate of. The production rate of the factories. So I never had to speed up anything in factory except when I use factories to produce、um, produce the chips. Because I don't want to wait for them to produce the chips. But other than,、uh, other than that, when I'm producing precious metals in the factory, I find myself speeding up the trading post because the trading post is always slower than the factories. And to speed up, You know, the number of UAVs translates into how much, how much time you save. So you want more UAVs. But the UAVs are capped. So that's why you want to clean up as much debris as possible because that increases the cap of UAVs that you have. So that's a common thing I do. Okay, I'm gonna, also gonna do that with this one. So yeah, you need a dormitory for two reasons. One is you need to rest. You need to you need to let your station operators rest after probably a day.、Um, on the other hand, when you decorate your dormitories, that's going to increase.、Uh, I don't know what it's called yet. Increase the points of like comfortness.、Um, Per se. And when you increase that, it increases the number of credits you can、uh, you can earn for free in the store when you log on. Like during your first log on of the day,、uh, you get free credits, and the number of credits is determined. It is proportional proportional to、uh, the comfort points of your dormitories combined. And that's it. I think we're done. So today we rewrote the account once to add Axia. Gotta, gotta pronounce her name right. And we also cleared the prelude chapter, namely chapter zero. So, yeah. Later on, I will follow up with me clearing up chapter one and start cracking Code of Brawl. 
I'll see you next time.